Hi, I'm Mr. Levier and I'm back at Big Al's Aquarium Superstore and I'm here with Marlin like a fish and we are going to discover about frogs. Frogs, I just enjoy looking at those funny little animals. So let's learn something about frogs. Hi, I'm Marlin like the fish and today we'll be discussing about frogs. Now, right in this uh, little uh, critter keeper, we have a variety of color of Pac-Man frogs, or they're also called horn frogs. Uh, the reason they're called horn frogs is because they have a little horn above their eye, uh, and the reason why they're called Pac-Mans is because they're round and have a large mouth, kind of like the video game character. Now, you can really see different colors. These are all the same animals, but they have different colors. Uh, they come in a wide variety of colors. Uh, there's ones that we sell called strawberries, apricot. This guy here is uh, chocolate. We have, uh, we have some Pikachus, which are albino. Uh, and then there's, there's some that are lime colored, as you can see. Now these guys are ambush predators, which means they spend a lot of their time in the same spot. And they don't really use up a lot of energy trying to hunt or go after things unless they're really hungry. Most of the time they'll stay still and if a cricket or a bug uh, walks in front of them, lightning fast, they'll stick out their tongue, touch the insect, and then it goes down their throat. And the interesting thing about these guys is they'll actually use their eyes to swallow. So when they take a mouthful of an insect or food, you'll see them blink, and you'll see their eyes go inside their body and then come out, and that's them forcing the food down their stomach. Other interesting facts, they come from South America, Central South America, nice humid environments or jungle environments. These guys are easily bred in captivity. The cool thing about these guys is you can breed two different colors and get a whole new different kind of color uh, produced off the offspring. It's a very common uh, thing that, that is done in this hobby. This guy's jumping around, so maybe we'll hold him. Um, it's even to the point where there's now translucent ones that are being bred so you can actually see through their body you can see their heart and their organs and it's, it's very bizarre looking creatures we haven't had any of those in the store they're still being produced but i'm sure one day we're gonna have you know pac-man frogs where you can actually see their body will look like glass oh my god all right so, so what do we have here so we have a uh, African dwarf aquatic frogs. Now, these guys love to live in the water, and uh, they, instead of eating, they will eat insects. Uh, they will eat these little insects that roam in the water called Daphnia. They're globe-shaped, and they bob up and down, and that's what they typically eat in nature. At the store, we usually feed them uh, brine shrimp or uh, blood worms, and it's uh, big enough to fit in their mouth. Uh, and then roughly they can get about the size of a toonie. So this guy's gonna get about double to three times the size. If your house isn't loud, like with the furnace and the AC, if it's quiet, you can actually hear these guys croak through the, uh, the water. There's actually albino or white ones, white versions that have been recently produced. So they have a pale white skin with red little eyes. Yeah, see it from this side. He actually escaped. <laughs> He escaped my grass, but uh, these guys will actually go to the water line and take a breath of air, but they can hold their breath for about anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. Here we have the mahogany frogs, uh, and they're called mahogany because uh, they typically live in uh, leaf litter. So if they're by a, a waterfront or even uh, in the woods, what you'll notice is uh, there's a lot of leaves scattered all over the place and the, on their body represent the colors of the leaves on the ground to kind of camouflage them. These guys are very skittish. Uh, they have quite the hop, so they can jump pretty high. They like to eat insects. And you'll notice that the male is the one with the bright red colors. And then there's two females with slightly bland colors. Oh yeah, I see one in the back there now. Yeah, uh, she's poking her head out. White tree frog, yeah. So these guys are interesting because I have a feeling he's gonna jump on your camera. But uh, depending on the humidity, their their shade of color will change. So sometimes you see really bright green ones like your shirt, and then you get some browner, dull colors 
like this one. Uh, yeah, I used to have one that was green. Okay. Uh, so yeah, they have quite the jump. They, on their little uh, fingers, they have these little uh, sticky pads, so they can actually like really stick to like uh, all sorts of um, wood or walls or rock or whatnot. I'm offering him some food in hopes that oh. he'll he'll take it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think he really likes my shirt. I think he wants to eat you. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so most of the frogs that I showed you are, are uh, nocturnal, and this guy is as well. So he'll typically be more active at nighttime. And they typically get about like four to six inches in size. Uh, they're also called dumpy tree frogs, and they come from Australia. And they'll eat all <laughs> they'll eat all sorts of uh, of food. So I guess he's not really interested in the in the rat, but yeah, he's really uh, curious about the world. Uh, they can be bred in captivity, and now there's different morphs. Some are uh, called snowflakes, and um, yeah. They have little white spots on their body. <laughs> so yeah, they're pretty neat. Wow, nice accessorizing, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, these guys are pretty neat like that. You could so. just train them to sit on your shoulder. You know? I, I, I'm trying, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're very unpredictable where they want to go, but uh, He's definitely curious. So, boy oh boy, these frogs are something else. They're always popping and hopping. And we want to thank uh, Marlin Like a Fish. I hope you guys learned a lot about frogs today. And uh, I hope you got to enjoy all the colors and the different shapes that they bring to our world.